Hello there everybody, Sabata92 aka Nightmare, and welcome back to AI, the Somnium Files. So, last episode we got started on the alternate pathway, where apparently we do not cure Mizuki of her aphonia, which... Already, that's disheartening. And now... I'm still left with even more questions after I witness the Somnium inside of Mizuki. Now, speaking of Somniums, I have developed a theory that I'm going to try to apply to this. So, I've been trying to wrap my head around the events of this story, trying to piece things together, trying to figure out what the actual shit is going on, as well as trying to figure out who the true killer is. So. I've got a new theory in place. Thanks to some friends, and thanks to the, the Nightling community kind of for helping me get my gray cells to actively participate and try to think, I have a theory that I'm going to try to apply to this. I've yet to receive any information that counters this particular idea, so I'm going to tackle this as freely as I can. What if... So, syncing with people. We're only witnessing what's inside their heads, right? However, here's my thought process. If we are syncing, that technically means that our minds are melding. However, I'm only being presented certain information from the other person I'm syncing with. What if... What if part of Date's mental, like, repressed stuff, or his mental faculties, what if they're having an effect on the individual that I'm syncing with? It might explain why I witnessed Date's face in a broken glass reflection. So if I ever get myself another sink, I'm going to try to tackle that with that in mind. I'm going to have to take another look at other stuff here because I want to try to put things together see if my theory actually works or not. Anyway, boss's childhood friend Mario. Yes, you did, childhood friend Mario. Flag with big catch on That's it. good luck, you know? It is? Whether it's catching fish or catching criminals. Hmm. Bit flag with big catch on it. Soccer ball! Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. You said that about the soccer ball yesterday. <laughs> oh, that just reminded me of his balls. Because of the size, you know? <laughs> Both of you are terrible! That sounds like a serious medical condition. Ah, oh, God, he might have cancer! He needs to go to a doctor. The dude needs to go see a doctor, boss. A Tanuki statue. Um, Soba restaurant door curtain. The damn right. Bells. RC car. Oh. Room. I used to use that for interrogations. Makes them talk, you know? What, you beat him upside the head with it? How did you manage that? Pushing the handle against their throat did the trick. Oh my god! That is more likely to make them vomit than talk. Yeah, but then at least you got the broom to clean it up. Genius. Absolutely genius. A broom is leaning against the wall. Thankfully not leaning into somebody's throat. Bags hanging on a rack. Inside the bags are masks, like for costume parties. Cabinet! Wine bottle! <sighs> I'm a sucker for white wine. Shame you don't have an eye for it. I mean, I, was that a pun? Were you making were, were you making fun of the fact that I'm missing an eye? I have a right eye. And a left. <laughs> I see what you did there. Tombstone. Rip. That means rest in peace. As in, sleep peacefully. Who's it for? Ma, from the host club. Oh. R.I.P. specifically refers to the Latin phrase requiescat in pace. 
boss is correct about the general meaning. Oh! Ma's tombstone, I guess. There are wine bottles lined up. I learned something new today. The entrance. Thinking about getting the hell out of here. A matryoshka. Huh. Large key. Something special you want to say about that? Boss is Hey, boss. Why are you always sitting on top of the desk? Because I like to be on top of my work. I get it! You sit that way on the off chance you get the opportunity to use a pun? Chair. Uh, wait. Hold on. Pumpkin carved like a jack o' lantern. Damn it. Bookshelf. It's full of files and binders, but I don't know of what. That's all our porn. An electronic darts machine. Game. Fuck! She has a computer on her desk. The type that has a monitor built in. Hey, Iba. Iba's sitting on the desk. Well, aren't you just looking utterly adorable? Boss's desk. There are stickers all over the front. A dead clock. That's a dead giveaway. Triangular rule. That was a piece of evidence in a case about eight years ago. A mathematics teacher used it to stab her boyfriend when she found out he was cheating on her. I guess that's one way to solve the equation. The triangular ruler must have come in handy for solving that love triangle. You're a goddamn genius, Iba. Boo. It was genius, Date. You're just jealous. I mean, to be fair, I'm kind of jealous that I couldn't think of that, but good job, Iba. Snowboard. I picked up snowboarding recently. Oh? Why? This really hot guy from Kabuki Cho invited me, so. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. That's one reason. Skis! Police poster. Boy band. Uh, it's a symbol of hope. Stationary bike. Oh, that thing's broken. Damn it! I pedal and pedal, but the damn thing won't move. Um. A, a boss that's. Uh. Is she serious? Stationary bike for indoor training. She, she can't be serious. Blaster figure. That's my boyfriend from about 10 years back. Okay, so you killed him, chopped off his head, and then molded into plaster? We had a bad breakup, so I sliced his head off and coated it in plaster. Okay, I kind of have that feeling, really. I know that she's joking, but I also know what Boss is capable of. Boss's former lover. <laughs> uh, he could have used that lifesaver. It's a little floaty. Why do you have that here? We're six floors underground, right? What if it rains? We might get flooded. Genius. I don't think a floaty would save us in that predicament. You never know! It just might. It's a floaty. Map on the wall. Public black door curtain. What sauna did you steal that from, out of curiosity? Happy birthday! Wasn't that party a while back? How long have you had that up? Every day is like my birthday. Every day, I'm reborn as a new woman. So you change every day? I mean, technically we change clothes every day, so... I guess that means you're new every day? Mysterious mask is displayed on the wall. Mysterious mask is displayed on the wall. If you put that mask on, spikes come out that drink your blood. Ooh, delightful! That sounds familiar. It's been on the wall. That great Christmas tree! That's been here since the first time I was in this room. Eh, too much of a pain in the ass to put it down. There's a lot of stuff hanging on the coat hanger. Is there anything else under there? Okay, I'm making sure, because I didn't want to... I don't want to miss anything. There's a pennant adorned the wall. Yes, you're goddamn right there is. All right. Hey, I, uh... Oh, a Mizuki. There are many points of interest surrounding Mizuki, but we will need to speak with her directly. Fortunately, I hope she gets better soon. Yeah. Same. About the investigation. I am watching the case file of Shoko Nadami as it is updated in real time. Currently, it appears as though there has been no significant progress. Hmm. Hey, Date. Why not go to that bar you haven't been to in a while? You mean go to see Mama? Bar? Yeah. Marble in Golden Yokocho. 
Let's see. Mama runs Marble. She's an informant who knows just about everything there is to know about the criminal underground. Maybe she knows something. Maybe. Anything stand out to you? Date, you promised to go on a date with Iris yesterday. To be fair, I was blackmailed. What exactly are you planning to do? Try to give information? What? Seriously? It's a social date. A man's promise is his bond. You absolutely must keep your word. <sighs> Have you ever heard of a white lie? <laughs> so, you're gonna act like it never happened. That's not what I said. The day's not over yet. If I go see her and socialize for a bit, that's a date, right? Date kind of has different connotations, Date. Just because it has the same letters as your name doesn't mean you can take it less seriously. Oh, so you are not planning a real date then? Please don't kill me. No, of course not. If you say so. You almost sound relieved, Iba. Oh my. Pardon? Are you jealous? Is my little eyeball jealous? That sounds really weird when I say that out loud. Uh, impossible. Baka! I could never be jealous of a silly little human like her. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> oh, you missed a golden opportunity to kind of put that Iba is sitting jealously on the desk. You had an opportunity game. Oh, well. I guess that's okay. Wait. Oh, a copy maker? Copy maker. I, I missed the... Oh, wait. It's a king shogi piece. Do you know why shogi pieces are pentagons? So that every shape is equal. Huh. It makes everything fair. Is that right? Maybe. I just came up with that right now. You bullshitted me! You made it up. How dare you? I know you? why shogi pieces are pentagons. In chess, you can distinguish your pieces from your opponents by colors. Technically, in chess, you distinguish them by their shapes, but go ahead. White and black. Okay, that too. But in shogi, the pieces are the same color. Just different symbols on them. Why is that? Because you can use your opponent's pieces as your own. Therefore, you cannot color code them. Instead, your pieces are determined by the direction they are facing. The irregular shape makes it easy to determine orientation. Oh, okay. The king shogi piece. All right, boss. Okay. Stop the phone. I asked HQ to look into it. Yeah? They found a few things. Let's hear it. First, the owner was Shoko Nadami. So that was her phone. It was Shoko's phone? And yet it somehow ended up in the horse's mouth. Slash stomach. Yes. Her face was registered in the phone's facial recognition authentication. Huh. Okay. About Mizuki. She was returned to the hospital after the sink. Okay. She'll probably be hospitalized for a while. Did you give her some bodyguards to be safe? Hmm? Strange. Oh. Mizuki's phone is at home, Date. The GPS and Wi-Fi access point confirm this. What? She went home by herself? Is she capable of that? Possibly. But why? Unknown. She should remain at the hospital. About the investigation. There's been no progress, as usual. Uh, horse. The people at the main office are so incompetent. Got that right. The smartphone you brought in yesterday is still our only lead. Hopefully there'll be a breakthrough. <sighs> Who called it? Who called the phone? Sorry, we don't know that yet. They called from a burner phone. They didn't register a name. I can make a deduction with this information. Let's hear it. We know that the phone belonged to Shoko. Huh? Right. Whoever it was made their call at 9.02 p.m. Okay. After Shoko was killed. I believe we can make an assumption here. The caller probably wasn't the murderer. Probably. Why would they call the phone of the person they just killed? Maybe. 
But the culprit might have been trying to get Mizuki to call. Hmm. So that they can bring her to the scene. Huh. But then why hide the phone? Right. They would have left it somewhere easier to find. True. Wait, who called it? But either way, our mysterious caller is suspicious. Consider this. Jared. They did not register the phone under their real name. Did they use, like, a pseudonym or something? And also, they hung up as soon as Date mentioned he was a cop. And on top of that, they blocked Date's number and turned off the phone. Okay. The blame lies entirely with Date. Okay, listen here. Maybe right, but shut up. I suggest cutting his salary. Hey! I'll cut your battery. Oof! Do it. I'll plug in somewhere. <laughs> Jesus! She's... Now fucking do it, motherfucker! Anyway, we have to identify the caller. If you don't want your salary cut. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Fine. Do you know what fake name they use? That might offer a clue. Possibly. Uh, um. Elster report? About Renju. Renju? Oh, dear. Yesterday, I told you he vanished after he was questioned. Right. Well, we found him. Where? Central Hospital. What? He was brought there from a traffic accident. Oh! He's unconscious, and it's not looking good. Wait a minute. There was a radio thing going off about some sort of traffic accident. He was involved in that? Could it be? Capital Highway? Oh, you heard about it? Yeah, we heard it go off on the radio. We heard the report on the radio last night. I can't believe it was about Renju. Damn! Well, this time he's alive, but... For how long? And their information about Shoko's phone. All the history's been erased. Of course. There's nothing on the phone itself, but we can still look up its records. I happen to have a friend at the cell company. The head office is looking into it now. Are there sort of certain legal channels you have to go through in order to do that because there's like anti... Like there's some privacy laws that put in place? Or am I applying too many real world laws into this game? Okay. About Renju. Date, you should go talk to him. Well, yeah. He is Shoko Nodami's former husband, after all. He might have some information. But he's still asleep, isn't he? Smack him across the face and wake him up. <laughs> You're his friend, right? He'll understand. Yeah. Come on. We'll do it. Okay. Summary. I have three places to check. Central Hospital, where Renju is. I don't know if he's any condition to talk, but it might help. I could also go home to see Mizuki or get information from Mama at Marble. Aiba, let's move. Roger that. Oh, wait. Boss sitting on the desk. Okay, never mind. Alright, let's go pay Renju a visit. Central Hospital, Sunday. Where is he? Oh, hi. Hello there, nurse. Hello, nurse. The window. Bedside table. Bedside table. Bedside table. Headlight fable. Um, deadlight navel? That's not even a thing. Red light cable. Bedside table. Hey, comments! Let's rhyme together. An LCD TV. Dante, look! Sabako is coming out of the TV! No way! Who? Wait. Are you sure it's Sabako? There's an LCD... Wait. Wait a minute! Was it Sabako or... Ah, damn it. Kern uses a divider. There's no one here. Indeed. The bed is empty. No one is in the bed. Where the hell is he? 
Let me use for monitoring vital signs, measure heart rate, blood pressure, body temperature on the monitor. Yeah, we know what all this does. We know what it all does. Cup, it's a cupboard. Cupboard, cupboard, cupboard. Cup, come. There's a big cupper, cupper. Uh, hi, 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 ma'am. How you doing? Nurse is standing there. Menacingly. And you are? I'm a nurse. I work here. I'm assigned to Mr. Okiera. You have the same hairstyle as Iris's mom. Kind of. Uh... Where are we? Mr. Okiera's room. I'm certain of it. Where is he? Where's Renju? Where is he? He's not here. As you can see. Straight to the point. Where is Renju? He snuck out at night. Your security sucks! Snuck out? Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. The surgery was successful, but he was in no condition to move. Bullshit! He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. Then how the hell did he sneak out? Real trouble, huh? Yes. I can't believe it. Where could he have gone? <sighs> Renju is extremely suspicious. Yeah. He has no alibi for the time of Shoko's murder. That was noted in the investigation report. That's not so strange, though. There's more. I cannot reach Renju by any means. Shit. He has not attempted to visit Mizuki in the hospital. Even though she is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event. I don't give a crap about my daughter. I'm about as a terrible a parent as my ex-wife. Which... Again, I will apologize again because I got extremely mad. I realize even if it is fiction, I still feel a level of hatred whenever I see a child being abused. So, yeah. I, I, I'm i glad I'm not the only one in that. <sighs> Despite all this, he runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. He knows something. Perhaps this is an escape. Perhaps. Iva. Call in this gate. Roger that. All right. Hello, this is Lemnis Gate Entertainment Offices. Oh God, it's freaking big boob lady. Let me hear your message. Thank you. What kind of employee training do they have there? Anyway, I gave them my name and told them about Renju. Do you have any idea where he might be? Uh, sorry, no clue. I'm trying to get in touch with him too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He must be a mess right now. Oh, wait. Hmm? Maybe he's at the maid cafe. That is a... I swear to God, Renju, if you get killed again! Maid cafe? Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? Yeah, that's the one. Like, out of nowhere, Renju was like, I'm gonna rent out Sunfish Pocket. I guess he was gonna throw like a secret party or something. Oh crap. But with the accident and all, still, he might be there. I know about Sunfish Pocket. Renji used to talk about it. He runs Lemnus Gate as well as that maid cafe. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Farewell. Thanks. Sunfish Pocket, huh? It is worth scoping out. Yeah. Later. Lord knows he's probably dead. Let us let his body rot for a little bit. I'm a great friend. What? <gasps> Itomi Sagan, Iris's mother. Oh, she's already lifting weights. Yes, but why? I, because Iris and Mizuki are friends, so maybe Iris was looking out for her? Oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. Kind of surprising. Mizuki, what are you doing? What's it look like? She's talking! Bench pressing. You can talk. Yes. She's no longer mute. 
Ah! Ow! I received a Nile message from Azuki last night. Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. The fact that she's talking now. God, I am. Thank you so much, Hitomi. I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. I went to the hospital to pick her up. Okay. She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. Oh! Mizuki wrote a note saying that she wanted to go home. Not to Renju's house, but here. Well, that's actually sweet considering she considers this place home. So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. Hey, the fact that you got her to start talking again, I... Jesus, she's not holding back whatsoever. Oh, God. Oh, thank you. Oh, God, that's a relief. Thank you so much, Itomi. Now, let's look around my room. That stuffed animal. It's Mizuki's favorite character. Yep. What's its name again? Adder Rabbit. Yeah, that's Adder Rabbit. You gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. Mm-hmm. You don't have to tell her that. I'm sorry? I'm sorry, I'm talking to my eyeball. You're what? It's at a rabbit. Stuffed rabbit. Large speakers. Bed. Zuki sleeps there every night. This is a nice sound system. Oh, I appreciate you liking it. Oh, it's nothing special. Not bad. Very simple. It's not top of the line. I only spent a couple million yen. <laughs> oh! Oh, so it's cheap. That's good. I spilled soda on it on accident. <laughs> you did what? <laughs> audio equipment for an audio file. Haven't paid it off yet. Oof. <laughs> oh, Date. Small file cabinet. You have a bunch of documents there. There's a cork board on the wall. Desk. PC. You're a studious man, aren't you, Date? Uh. I heard from Mizuki. Uh. Whenever she's not around, you're always on your computer, watching training videos. Uh. Training videos? Yes, a female secret agent caught in the enemy's hideout or something. Uh. Ah, yes. Yeah, that. Right. Uh, damn it, Date. But Mizuki, did you watch that movie? Only the title. Don't say it out loud. Don't say it out loud. Don't touch my computer without asking. <laughs> Let's never talk about that, PC. I have lots of training videos on there. You, 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 you need help. You're next to the desk. The light of the autumn day is coming in through the window. My god, man, you need help. There's a few clothes of mine hanging on the rack. We each have basically one outfit. That's because we're rational people. I don't want to waste my precious time and brain power thinking about what clothes to wear every day. A lot of successful businessmen and scientists do it. But here in America, you get made fun of for it. Yeah, honestly, Mizuki and I do have other outfits. We just keep them somewhere else. My clothes and Mizuki's. Clothes are hanging on the rack. Remind of Mizuki's. I see you two hang your clothes side by side. You get along well. Yeah. Those are hanging on the rack. Uh, oh, he said. <laughs> hey, teacher, what do you say about this little girl having a weapon? I have no idea what she uses it for. Really? She's not going to comment on this? Aw. Backpack. In just a few months, she'll need a bigger backpack. They grow up so fast. School backpack. Three seat sofa I also uses a bed. Been sleeping here for four years. Mizuki took over my bed. Three seats open in the center of the room. The bench press. Okay, I think that's... Oh. Coffee table. Top of the glass. Date, is it true? What? Mizuki told me you hid a magazine under the rug. <laughs> Something about eating a nice spread? <gasps> uh. 
Why did you hide a cooking magazine? I'm embarrassed to let people know that I spend my time practicing cooking. Rug. Uh. Ate. Kitchen. There are seasonings and cooking equipment lying around. It's a pot. Pot meat kettle. Date, I'm sorry. I looked inside your fridge earlier. Why do you have so much meat in there? Oh, I'm on a diet. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm a recovering vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I am impressed you actually got a laugh. That was a seemingly innocent joke, and I actually liked it. A refrigerator. Back with beer, food, and a bunch of meat. Seasoning and sake for cooking. An oven hood. You got a legitimately nice laugh. Good job, Date. The entrance. Seriously, good job, dude. Lighting. That was innocent and that was sweet. That was highly appreciated. What? Date, something catches my eye. What? Katomi's right shoulder. Use the x-ray. Why? You'll see. Is it... Oh, right. She has a fake... Uh, an, a fake arm. Oh, oh! No, it's not a fake... Oh! Oh! I thought it was like an entirely replaced fake arm. I thought... Oh! That's... A plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder. Oh. Oh. Tell me, has a metal plate in her right shoulder. Um, I did not use X ray vision on you, I promise. Okay? Uh. You're her teacher? Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. Surprise! I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but he described you as a relative. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. Mizuki lives here with me. But I'm not her legal guardian. That's why I've never been to school with her or anything like that. I was all left to Renju. He might not be any good at raising her, but he is her father. He takes care of all the official stuff. That was one of the conditions for me taking in Mizuki. How is Mizuki at school? She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. She's very smart for her age, and she's very strong for her age, too. And more than anything, she is kind. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Oh, that is so sweet. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record, but she's a good girl. Oh, that is so sweet. What's on her record? There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. <laughs> Another time, she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. Damn! He got off lucky. Sounds like more than just incidents. But I like that about her. She's rambunctious. She's a little clumsy. And just like Renju. <laughs> How did you get her talking again? You know what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. You were just there for her? I just held her against me. Oh, ve- Itomi, I think it's probably because you treated her better than her own mother did. Held her? Basically held her like a mother should. Am I right? I was hugging her close to me all night. When dawn came, I heard her say, Teacher. And then she started to cry. As you can see, she's fine now. That's... That's really good. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. 
Honest to goodness, I owe you a lot, Hitomi. See, like... She literally needed a mother's, like, embrace, essentially. That's... I think that's really what she was desperately needing. Something that she's... Unfortunately, not been given a lot of, so... That's extremely appreciated. Pardon me for asking, but your right arm... Oh. Does it bother you? No, no! Can you not move it? No. I can't even feel it, I'm afraid. Was there an accident, or...? I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. The nerves died, and... See. That moment anyway, right there. The story is, one day a criminal broke into my house. The story is... He was carrying a gun. From the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Maybe. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. Just a random crime. For 89. dream I saw and the thing is from that one little thing that kind of from that one little image that we saw in 89's like Somnium from that perspective not only from Dante's perspective but from also 89's it's our perspective the thing that we are looking through is from the front door area and the only people that we saw coming through the front door were Rohan and Boss. So... <sighs> God damn it! Is it just coincidence that you're Mizuki's teacher? You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes, at Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here? That's right, a district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Well, I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but it wasn't a coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Did Renju ask to, for you to be her teacher? Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. Ah. They even moved to get into my school district. That was about five years ago, in spring. See, now this is really adding a little bit more here. Like, you're already... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna happily throw Shoko under the bus here. You're already being more of a mother to Mizuki than Shoko ever was. And I bet you, I bet you Renju probably recognized that. So, maybe you being around Mizuki helped her a lot, maybe. I mean, hell, the fact that you were able to cure her aphonia just by being here with her, that's, that really goes to show that maybe Renju had that sort of feeling of trust, like, okay, this woman. She'll treat my daughter right. You know? Before the divorce? Yes. But I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Hmm. Officially, Mizuki lives at Renju's house. Her local elementary school is actually pretty far from here, my house. But Mizuki takes the train every morning to get there. Where's Renju? Renju? I don't know. Really? Hitomi does not appear to know that Renju was hospitalized either. See. Hitomi has a metal plane in her right shoulder. Hey, Mizuki. How long do you plan on doing that? Until my muscles are screaming at me to stop. I'm pretty sure that's kind of how workouts kind of start off a little bit. As long as you're not pushing yourself way too hard. Like, hell, I think that was the problem that I was having whenever I started working out. That I kept pushing myself way too hard and I was sore in the morning and for maybe a couple of days, so I found a much better workout routine that doesn't result in that. You there yet? Nope. You are a strong girl! Not even close. My muscles are laughing like this is nothing. Dante, I would not push Mizuki while she is in this state. You may end up killed via head injury. Lord knows, that's correct. Yeah, you're right. She's a very strong girl! Uh, about your aphonia. When I started talking to her, Mizuki re-racked the weight. Yeah, 
I'm fine, thanks to you. Well, not exactly you. It was teacher who stayed with me all night. <sighs> I'm 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 just really happy that you're okay now. Mizuki's on the bench press. Uh about the Nile message. Mizuki. Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? <laughs> it was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. Okay. It was from Daddy's phone. Okay. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... No, I I, I understand. I understand, Mizuki. So you kept quiet. Hey, it's... You can't really blame her. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. Yep. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Extremely dangerous. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Why didn't you tell me about Otomi? I couldn't. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Ouch. Uh, I mean... Because you don't talk. That, yeah, yeah, that, that, that is the thing. Because you don't listen. Oof. Are you just are you just listening in on this, having a little bit of a good time, Atomi? Are you having a good time? Why were you holding the ice pick? When I got there, the ice pick was. Also interesting that she turns her head there to kind of help listen to her. That's a nice little detail. It was. It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I... You grabbed a weapon for self-defense. The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. That too. So you pulled it out. Yeah. After Ota ran away? Yeah. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that. But I don't remember where it was coming from. Okay. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so... Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. All right. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. Hmm. Okay. About Renju. What's wrong with Daddy? You haven't heard? Heard what? That he was in an accident? She does not know about the accident. Oh. Okay. Shelko has left eye on the pig. I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. First off, thank you very much for doing so that, Doctor. it was Doctor. not Mizuki who took the eyeball. Okay, so I know it's something very small there, but I love... I, it makes it much more human when Dot, whenever characters actually do that. Like, listen, I, I'm really sorry that I have to ask you. Like, I really appreciate that attention to detail. No, it was already gone when she got there. That eyeball has yet to be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. Yeah. About Hitomi... She's my teacher. She's special. Aww. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Aww. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. <laughs> but I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. Hey, don't worry about it. There's... Everybody has different circumstances. I can't help myself. Especially considering you're a mother. Well, 
She's obviously a much better mother than Shoko, but... Where's Renju? I don't know where he is. Can you think of anywhere he might go? No, not really. I don't know where Daddy goes. Did he visit you when you were in the hospital? No. But I didn't expect him to. He's always busy. He doesn't care about me. <sighs> Summarize for me. Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. Thank goodness. Give a gold medal to Hitomi for that. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Surprise! Hmm. Is there something wrong? No. It's nothing. I think there might be some other suspicion to that? I'll keep that in the back of my mind. Let's go pay a visit to Mama! Sunday, Marvel. Well, well, if it isn't Dante. Hey, Mama. Long time no see. Is something wrong? No, I just wanted to talk. About Shoko Nadami, Ren's ex. And she's still doing the bonito. Ren, meaning Renju Okura. You're as sharp as ever. I saw it all on the news. How awful. Still doing the booty? This is a painting of Saint Sebastian. Yes, it is. Saint Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian. On January 20th, 288 AD, he was martyred. This painting depicts his execution. Yes, it most certainly does. Something wrong, Date? You're staring awful hard. Nothing. Just caught my eye. Why now, of all times? Because it's beautiful! That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah. It was a gift from Ren a while back. I've always had it there. The painting of Saint Sebastian. Apparently it was a gift from Renju. The specials are written in the chalkboard. Duck Woman's upper lip. Ah, they're finally getting rid of the duck faces. Although maybe cooking them is not the best idea. There's a poster on the wall. Ben and Clyde do right by me. What that is? Poster on the wall. Flyer. Uh, there's a table in front of the sofa. Menu is right on the back. Hang on the wall. Been through a hole in the wall. There are bottles of alcohol on the shelf. Beer tap! Date, what do you call a bottle of beer on your face? Uh. What? Um, a beard? Ha! <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> a beard? I get it! I get it! <laughs> There's music playing over the radio. Mama, my goodness. You've changed since I last saw you. You're such a square now. Excuse me, that is a fridge. <laughs> a refrigerator. That's, that was mean. A bar counter. What do you think this counts? Bars? Do I have to hurt you? I do not appreciate your pun. I appreciate it. Shush, the bar counter. The bottle's lined up on the counter. Yes, there it is. TV in the wall. Hey, Date. Wanna watch men in Fundoshi's pounding drums? What's a Fundoshi? No, thanks. I'm good. What the, what the hell's a I, I'll have to look that up. This is a bar called Marble in an alley called Golden Yokucho. Who runs the place? Y'all call her mama. She might technically have the body of a man, but she's got a maiden's heart. She belongs to a lot of pro-LGBT groups and the like. Damn right. So. 
How have you been? I've been okay. How are you, Date, honey? Well, I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders, kind of, since Mizuki's a, a bit better. I don't see you around here much anymore. I've been busy. You used to come all the time. You and Ren, grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. <laughs> Laughing, drowning each other's sorrows. I got my mouth perpetually open! Sometimes getting into arguments. One time it even became a real fight. You remember that? I will never close my jaw! Really? Oh, yes. You don't remember? Oh? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. I mean, hell, the watch played a very important role in a previous route that we went through. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Hmm. That watch. Looks like it might be incredibly important. About Shoko. I have something, but I don't know how useful it will be. Oh yeah? I'll be I'll be the judge of how useful that is. Play it on me. No, tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Yeah. They were part of a massive fraud scheme. Really? Mm. That's right. And they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the Yakuza gang. Now we already knew that. So maybe the Kumakuras killed her? Mm. I don't know for sure, but they were capable of it. Maybe Shoko did something to piss off the wrong people, and they punished her for it. Hmm. Hey, where's Renju? It's been a while. I have no idea. What's wrong with Ren? I told Mama about the accident, and about how he disappeared from the hospital. Oh no, really? Yeah. I see. I'll contact you if I get anything. Appreciate it, Mama. Please do. Really appreciate it. Hey, can you get me a glass of water? Hmm, that's unusual. Not a bourbon. I'm working. Yeah, kind of on the job. Can't, can't, can't drink on it. I drink at work all the time. It's literally your job, Mama. We have very different occupations. <laughs> it's kind of the same. <laughs> I make people throw up. You make people throw up the truth. Well, I appreciate that. No. So, about Renju's watch. Yeah, his favorite watch. He got it from his new lover. An anniversary gift. His new lover? Oh, this was, of course, after the divorce. <laughs> Any idea who his lover's name was? Ren was so happy, he showed it off to me. That might hold a clue. He's had that watch on him ever since. Mama spends her time running the bar, but she's also full of secrets and confidential information. Drunk people tend not to be too careful with secrets and rumors. You know how it is. So a place like this is perfect for gathering information. Whether it's politics, business, entertainment, even crime, Mama knows it all. Whenever I get stuck on an investigation, I come see her. Summarize for me. Shoko was involved in illegal activities. Got that right. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. The Kumakuras. They have a relationship with Renju. I remember him telling me that. Do you want to pay them a visit? Yeah. I hope it won't cause problems. Oh, boy. Yeah. What are you huh. doing, by the way? She's doing the Bonito. Polishing Bonito. Yes. It is not well known, but dried Bonito is a fermented food. They are boiled and dried, which attracts a particular mold as it ages. It takes between three to four mold attraction sessions and results in high quality Bonito. Mama is cleaning off the mold right now. Mama is wide as her heart is big. That's the Mama I know. 
Mama is polishing the bonito. Well, good talking to you, Mama. I gotta move. Okay. My sunfish pocket's gonna end up being the last place I need to go, so let's head to the Kumakura. <gasps> oh, I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit... Are we gonna have a repeat of what happened last time? Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do Listen. you want to die, old man? You <laughs> bastard! <laughs> Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? Yeah. Ah, uh, loses. So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Right. Name's MoMA, the war horse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse was found. Have you heard the name Shoko Nadami? Sure have. How? Heard it on the news. The <laughs> media is making a real fuss about this new serial killer. Can't help but hear about it. How you doing over there? Skinny one is completely out. Let's talk to him. There would be no point in talking to him in that state. Knife one of them was carrying. Kinda knives nicely at night. It just might. Knife on the floor. Appreciate that. It was an ashtray. Somebody was smoking. Coffee table. Marvelous. Marvelous. What? Marvelous marble. Marvelous marble. It's marvelous. Sofa. Do you think that pulls out into a bed? It'd be one thin bed. What would be the point of that? It's thin as fuck bed. Wow, that is a big flying squirrel. Damn right. That is a tiger. Oh, so that's what they're calling flying squirrels nowadays. Sweet. The fat one. So I think a stomach in pain. How you doing, man? Got nothing to say to you. Oh, don't be such a spurt, don't you? A desk, follow along someone in the gang. That thing's on top. Company philosophy on the wall. After 40, your toenails grow slower. Well, that's an interesting motto. Company philosophy on the wall. Company philosophy is like a summary of the ideals and the goals of that company. Company philosophy is written on the wall. Okay. Some kind of permit. Selling permit? Last month's schedule is written on the board. 22nd, go to the zoo to see the pandas. Last month's schedule is on the board. That's delightful! Pandas are cute. Dinners. Partition set up by the doorway. Lockers are lined up on the wall. Or the next room. Chair. Bronze dragon. If I make a wish, will it come true? Only if you gather the seven orbs. That is not Shenron. Thank you! For panties. Stop it, Oolong! I told you, that's not Shenron. A dragon holding a golden ball. There are lanterns with Kumakura written on them. Shinto Shrine. The Kumakura Crest. Yes, it is. Kumakura Crest is decorating the wall. Chairman's desk. Telephone on the desk. Ima, can you hack it? I cannot. The power is off. Shit! It's a personal computer. Iva can't hack it. It's turned off. Back. I like your chair. The chairman's chair. The man chair chair. The man sitting in the chairman's seat is named Mulma. 
So, where's the chairman? <laughs> what? The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. Osha. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. <laughs> you aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. He left to his death from the roof of a building. A suicide. But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Ah, six years ago. <sighs> Damn timeline, six years ago. Everything's attached to the number six. What happened six years ago? Freaking Mizuki was six. <sighs> no, I think. Wait. Wait a minute. He's twelve. Wait a minute. Mizuki, Iris, Oda, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Those are all multiples of six. Holy shit! About Shoko. Don't know nothing about her. That's a double negative. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. <sighs> you know anything about the investment fraud? I have no idea what you're talking about, cop. You must have gotten some bad info. Kumakura's killer? Fuck no. Why would we do that? Date, look at this. What's up? A thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. Body temperature rising. Liar! Red hot lie. It appears that way. How do I get him to come to it? Remove his fingernails one by one. This ain't Higarashi. We're not going that route. Not my style. Blackmail him? Maybe? Blackmail? Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Let's examine the room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. Uh. Um. Hmm? X. What? X-ray the crest. <laughs> oh my god, he has an A-set figurine. There's a hidden safe behind the crest. There is something inside. I recognize that. It's just like the one I saw at Matsushita Diner. An A-set figure. Correct. But why is that there? Because he's a diehard Iris fan. Unknown, but perhaps. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a fan of Aesop, would you? What? Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? Uh, listen, do you want to go for a round two? I can do this all day. He's tough as bricks and hard as nails. Never be in a pussy shit like that, fucker. You want to go? Do you want to go, dude? <laughs> Oh god, that's so cute. I think you're threatening. <sighs> Sing in the chair. Water. Fears. Shadows. <laughs> also. Oh, hey! Nurse. Hanayo Nasu. Sex female, age 24. Birthday, April 27th. Professional nurse likes candles, ropes, and rod rodeos. A rodeo dislikes jocks and queen bees. Queen bees? That's oddly specific. Hobbies, theater, skills can shave really fast. Impressive, very impressive. Overview, she's a member of a small group of actors slash nurses. She practices hard even though she has yet to land a leading role. I'm rooting for you, nurse. I'm rooting for you. You'll get that acting job. I guarantee it. Oh. 
Shadows. Shadows. Threat. A silhouette. ASAP. Gotcha. Fears. Fears. Upset. Uh, regret. ASAP. <laughs> Water. Water. Wet. Uh, sweat. ASAP. ASAP. You bet. Just as I thought. <laughs> Boss. What's this? Sh shut up. Don't look at me. Get out of here. <laughs> Did you hear me? I said get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, you just added a few extra bonus points in terms of likability, mama. That one grabbed the skinny one and dragged him out. I've got your secret now. <laughs> if you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was great. Oh boy, okay. Okay, what about Rohan Kumakura? Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. But he's gone now. A suicide. Yeah. After breaking out of the hospital. Hmm. About Shoko and the Kumakuras. Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. The company that commits fraud. No comment. <laughs> anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. Right. Do you have an alibi for Shoko's murder? Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. Okay, alright, that's fair enough. You've been asked a hotel. They'll tell you. Dante, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. Right. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling he was telling the truth on that one. Right? Uh. Why was he hospitalized? About 20 years back, both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. Kinda crazy how detailed the Yakuza are, am I right? At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. The right side? Oh! That would explain his fixation on taking somebody's right eye all the time. Maybe it was in some way to replace it to fix his vision? The doctors say he can still see. But it doesn't register. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. No, wait, yeah, that, well, the original Cyclops killing took all the left eyes. And it was, or, no, it was the right eye, sorry. And now the new one is taking the left eyes. Date, a question for Moma. I had to do uh, a correction on that. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Okay, was Rohan left-handed? Yeah, he was. Confirmed. All right. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. Hemispatial neglect? As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. Yeah. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. Wait. Are you saying the right side of my brain is more superior because I'm left-handed? MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. 
From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. Ooh, that must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. Hmm. Huh. Oh, you know Renju Okura, right? No point hiding it, right? Obviously. You have no reason to. Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. I told Momo about Renju's accident. And about a disappearance from the hospital. Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. So he's telling the truth. Looks like he's not lying. Okay, okay um... I had no idea you were a Ned Idol fan. How did you know? Uh, I looked through your wall. You're hiding an ASAP figure in the safe. How did you know that? <laughs> I have superpowers. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and he's like, okay, yeah, sure. I guess I got no choice. I'm gonna have to accept that. Okay, about Rohan. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. Something got basically knocked loose in his brain and a couple of synapses were fried. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. So, see, now that's kind of implying that he was a much better person before the incident. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him. From the toe to the thigh. Oh, God. Totally blank expression. <clears throat> like he was scraping bonito flakes. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh. I just felt pain going throughout my entire body, starting from my fucking toe. Anyway, sick fuckers like that always end up running the world. Oh, oh God. He started climbing the ranks, and eventually he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. Oh, God, I'm so shivering. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. Oh, God. When was Rohan hospitalized? About six years ago. I remember him telling me about something big. Some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. He didn't give me the details, but... I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway, his plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. Shooting some guy in his house. A few days later, cops busted. The prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know? His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Huh. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. Like a psychiatric hospital? And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. Let's see. Right? On our quest information on Renju. Hey, Moma, I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? And your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. <laughs> and the worst part is I can imagine Oda just kind of coming here like, you're a fan of ASAP too? Like what? This kid's a fan. And then they just start geeking out together. In exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet Asa. Yeah. What? Yeah. I met her yesterday at Lemniscate. We're acquaintances now. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You promise? <laughs> yeah, I promise. Oh my god. 
<laughs> oh my god. Akuma Koras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. Oh my god. It was still worth it just to find out Moma is an ASAC fan. Really? That information might come in handy later. Yeah. Let's go somewhere else, Ila. We got what we need. Renju, you better be alive. Hey. Daytime. So. Uh. Oh, hey. King. Hi. Sea King? Oh. <laughs> Is this your first time here? Uh, uh, sorry. I'm not here as a customer. I need to talk to someone about something. Hmm? Where? Oda! Jeez, kid. Excuse me. A well, police officer. Hey, Oda. How's it going? Tate? Huh. Word, man. Hi. Considering how this place has some bad memories for me, it's weird seeing it all colorful and bright. The light that looks like a jellyfish. Cafe signboard. It says sunfish pocket. Why? Why are you holding a trident? You concern me, dude. Cafe's menu. Option. Ah, two thousand yen. What is? Ah, I don't know. Moderately concerning. Why would you scream at somebody over their meal? Security camera. Place is up on the second floor. Nothing out the window. What kind of furniture can you drink? Sofa. Um, a light beer? Nope. Rice? You can't drink rice. Rice pudding? The answer is liquefied leather sofa. How would anyone ever guess that? Can you even drink that? Can you? I mean, if... Hmm. I uh, should have become a scientist. Here, I could do videos on that. Table. That customer looks like he's on death's door. Let's hope he's not blowing his life savings here. He looks seriously ill. Seriously ill. All of these guys look seriously ill. The counter. Trident. There are pictures of girls on display. So, who's your type, Date? Sorry, but no one stands out to me. <laughs> I don't go for the spawn. I'm more of a big catch fisherman. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what? I think he's saying he likes older women. Thank you. I guess. There are pictures of girls on display. I, okay. Door I came in. The girls are working. The girls are working. Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? The severed bottom half of a mermaid. So a fish tail? You could have just said the tail. Wooden box. Apparently a mermaid's tail is in there. I believe you. You can see the kitchen back there. I don't think I want to know. <clears throat> I don't. A real row can be a real row can be heard from the kitchen. I guess so. Rusty oil drums. Because that's safe to have in here. Um. What the hell? 
That omelet rice, that omelet rice looks delicious. Cream soda, huh? Sounds about right for Rhoda. Hi. Whoa, what the hell? Lies. At this cafe, the maids and clerks are referred to as mermaids. I get it. Mermaid. Uh, introductions? Okay. By the way, I didn't introduce myself yet. I'm Konami Dante of the Metropolitan Police Department. You're a detective? Something like that. Uh, is Renju here? No, he never showed up. Huh. When was the last time he came here? Hmm, let me think. He's just the owner, not the manager, so... He comes sometimes, but not all that often. Okay. What's the Sea King? That's what we call the customers. Oh. Us mermaids serve the Sea Kings. Okay. But well, what if a woman comes in here? Sea e Queen? And we really are mermaids, you know. Don't tell anyone. Yes, ma'am. What? But Everyone working here is a real mermaid. But you have legs. They were a gift from Poseidon. We were given legs and feet. Uh... Blink twice if it's safe for you to say that you are normal. Blink once if you are being held here against your will. She has blinked once, therefore she's being held against her will. So that we can gather riches and foreign currency in the labor market. Dante, let's go. Probably for the best. No, not yet. There's still so much to learn. Do not listen to her siren song. Shit! Okay. <laughs> okay. Why am I doing this? Date, I must be the bearer of bad news. Even with X-ray, her clothes will not turn transparent. <laughs> your heart rate and blood pressure is rising. Date! The concentration of phenylethylamine in your blood is rising rapidly. Date, no! What are you excited about? Calcium. The walls are decorated with life preservers. It looks like a flotation device, right? But it's actually a huge donut. Delightful. That doesn't sound right, but there might be a huge donut up there. <laughs> they even changed it to a donut. <laughs> Go away to the kitchen. <laughs> it changed it to a fucking donut. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, Oda. How you doing, man? Oda is sitting opposite me. Uh, are you a regular here? Sure am. I come here whenever I've got time and money. I was here yesterday, too. Around 6.30, I think. But I couldn't get in. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. Huh. But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home. So I bought a new one. A new what? Oh? A phone? I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? Yeah. Hmm. What's with that spear? It's not a spear. It belongs to Poseidon, god of the sea. I'm guessing that there is one trident per customer. You know, a trident. Why do you have that? Because he's the sea king. We treat our customers like lords of the sea. We give them these tridents. It's like a little ranking system we do. Okay. The color changes depending on your rank. Oh? There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum. And at the very top, or a calcum. Oh, thank God. I've been pronouncing it correctly this whole time. Oh, thank God. So it basically measures how much money you've spent on these girls. Oof. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. Eh, Dante's a bit blunt. It's more like a way to exploit their vanity. Uh... To separate our customers from their money as much as possible. See, now that kind of sounds cultish. That sounds even worse. 
So, why are you here? Because I'm worried about Tessa. Iris, what's the matter? Yesterday night. I mean last night. Well, it was past midnight, so more like this morning. Oh. I don't care about the timing. What happened? Tessa was streaming, as usual, okay. from her living room at home. But suddenly... Actually, let me just show you. I always record her streams. Okay, what happened? go for now. I'll sing the rest next time. Bye. Uh... Hell? Huh. So somebody came at the door and it was enough for her to immediately stop her stream. Also, she was constantly looking over to the side there for a moment as well. Well, we haven't seen Renju in a while, so... Maybe it was Renju that contacted her? That's the one thing I can kind of... Hmm. Maybe? Maybe, maybe it might have been Renju. Have we seen Renju? No, haven't seen him. Is this related to what happened at Bloom Park? The body on the merry-go-round was Renju's ex-wife. I didn't know that she was Mizuki's mom. Did she change her name or something? Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body, and I just left her there and ran away like a coward. I'm such a piece of shit. You can apologize to her when you need to, okay? I should have stayed. I should have done something. Why did I do that? Oh, is it eating you up inside, Ota? Yeah, seriously. Uh. uh... While you're sitting here adding up your options? But you can order two, Date. That's not why I'm mad, Ota. Yeah. <sighs> your trident. I'm still gold. Not that good. I would be very concerned if there really was somebody over here with an Oricalcum, though. What the fuck color is Oricalcum? I see I can see a bronze. I can see several bronze. Uh oh 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 wait I <sighs> see silver I see gold is the blue one or a calcum I I actually don't see anybody with an oricalcum How much did you spend to get that? Um about two hundred thousand yen <laughs> I suddenly understand why someone would want to kill another human. <laughs> oh. Yep, I understand. Oh, yeah, I got you fucking hell alive. 
one hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? Someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning, and then she leaves? She looked really serious, too. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't answer. She didn't read any of my Nile messages, either. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Huh. Tessie used to work here. She made a lot of friends. I'm one of them. But I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls, too, but no one knows anything. Iba, call Iris. Ab. The number you are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. Damn it. No way. Is she dead again? Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. Uh. Something wrong, sir? Uh, no, nothing. Need to go to the cold storage warehouse. I wonder if Tess is okay. It's the only place I can think of. I'm so worried about her, I can barely eat. Are you gonna take another bite from. God damn it. You can barely eat, you lying son of- I'm gonna punch you. I'm gonna punch you, dude. I'm gonna fucking punch you. I can barely eat! You look like you can eat just fine. Uh, summarize for me. Date, Renju is not at this location. Apparently not. We have other areas we need to search. Yeah, you're right. Fair. Oh boy. Persons update, and we have three more spaces we gotta go through them. Mermaid. Amame Doi. Doi. Amame Doi. Female, age 20, August 17th. Two days after my own birthday. Likes Ratatat, Bang Bang, and Slappy Slap. Okay. Dislikes sea kings who stay for an hour after ordering just one cup of coffee. I like coffee. Hobbies! Breeding triple wart sea devils. Okay. Skills. Exploring the vanity of her customers make huge sums of money. Of course. Overview. She works as a maid at Sunfish Pocket. She's friends with Iris, Mizuki, and Oda, and occasionally goes on haunted out tours and UFO sightings with them. Okay then. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Huh. That's interesting. She's the reverse color of Iris. Pink hair, blue eyes. Blue hair, pink eyes. She's the reverse color scheme. <laughs> Phenylethylamine, a substance in the brain that serves as a kind of love hormone. When this hormone is secreted from the pituitary gland, people start saying things like, I love him, I love him, I love him so much I can barely breathe. Physiological effects such as a pounding heart are also common. It has been many years since this hormone has ever been secreted in my brain. Hm. Sunfish pocket menu. Okay. This menu contains a number of special options that the customers can order, such as the mermaids will feed the customer with a spoon. The mermaid will play mahjong with the customer. The customer may pat the mermaid on the head. The mermaid will attend solely to the customer personally. The mermaid will write a message and catch up on the customer's omelet rice. Raw oysters from Hiroshima. The mermaid puts her thumbs into the customer's mouth and pulls. Why? The mermaid gives the customer an elaborate back tattoo. Uh, the mermaid squeezes lemon juice onto the raw oysters from Hiroshima. The mermaid poses with the customers, takes a picture, and then prints it the picture onto a custom tea set the customer can take home. The mermaid refills the customer's water after every sip. That just seems needlessly stupid. Insanity. In legal terms, this applies to situations in which someone is said to have lost all judgment or behavioral control over themselves and thus cannot be legally responsible for their actions. Hmm. That's why some criminals try to plead insanity so they can get with a lesser sentence. All right. Okay, that seems like a pretty good place for us to go and end up right now. We got a little bit more information, not too much, but however, at this point, Iris and Renju are now both missing in action. 
Um, obviously, the highlight of today is specifically Hitomi curing Mizuki that way. I... <sighs> I... Oh, God, thank you, Hitomi. I'm still probably thinking that's probably how she was, that, that how, like, Mizuki was even able to be cured of her phony because she basically received something that she rarely, if never, got from her own mother. And that was literally just a mother's love. In which case, Hitomi, you, you earned several bonus points in terms of favoritism just because of that one sign of kindness that you showed Mizuki. Lord knows she really needed it. Anyway, that's where we're going to end it. So if you all like this, be sure to let me know. We only have three spots left in our persons of interest. And... We're still no closer to a culprit yet. Not yet, at least. But anyway... I'm ending up there, so if y'all like this, be sure to let me know. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will definitely see all of you guys in the next one.